just met Ruby right now. Is that correct? That's correct. What are your first impressions of Ruby? Uh, Ruby seems very fun-loving. Um, and I really like her dress, and I kind of like the way she's just lying back as if she's sunning herself in a relaxed fashion. Like her, her, the position of her body right now, I'm kind of picturing on the front of a boat. <laughs> but my first impression on the whole is she's very fun-loving and um, lives life to the full. Yeah, and what for you is living life to the full? I just think someone who does unusual things and chases, chases thrills a little bit. Yeah. At least I live every day as if it's your last. I'd spend well, all my money. I had lobster yesterday. Was lobster disappointing or was it good? It was as, as good as avocado on toast. <laughs> Without the toast? On sourdough? With a bit of oil, some salt, like Himalayan rock what salt. Can I get a bacon and egg roll, please, with no aioli? And instead of aioli, just some oregano and no bacon. Can I get a field mushroom instead, please? And instead of egg, can I get avocado? And can I get no roll? Are you coming to Paris? Is it on the company Amex? Well, yeah, I don't know his company yet, but yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. We could do like a, a serious cool. interview. Yeah, yeah, I can't cool. help but so, pick up on a host of innuendo. But, so, what's Ooh. a serious in, what's a serious interview? Well, how does one be a Bondi hipster in Khan? Uh, how does one be a Bondi hipster in Khan? I guess I could tell you the mechanics as to why we're here. Oh, Screen yeah. Australia have sent us out here, which is real, real fucking hoot, because you know we get to travel the world. Next group that's coming to the stage is the Aussies. Screen Australia, presenting shows from the hottest online talent from Down Under. Hello. Hello there. So the Bondi Hipster series is, it's a story, it's a web series that follows a toxic relationship between two morally, sexually ambiguous Bondi Hipster locals who think they are really good for the world, but they're actually massively part of the problem. Um, here's actually a clip from one of the earlier episodes of Bondi Hipsters. We have a healthy lifestyle by the sea. We eat organic and gluten-free. We do Bikram yoga and Pilates. We like soy lattes and goji berries. Fuck carbs, fuck fats, fuck calories. I snack on fucking celery. And then on the weekend, I just don't eat because I'll be smashing lines off the toilet seats. Don't you read my tweets? I'm off my head. My heartbeat stopped. Fuck, you should be dead. But that was intense. Do you want to go to bed? No bra, let's eat some caps instead. You know what that sounds like to me? No man. It sounds like irony. Hey man, if we just found irony, do you, you know, know how, how ironic, ironic that would be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's... That's us. Um, after the Hipsters won an online following, we were, we were funded by Screen Australia and the ABC to come up with a TV show, well, not to come up with, but for a TV show. Um, and it's interesting because we set out to make a narrative comedy that would work on TV, but not only that, we wanted to make sure it worked on YouTube, and so we created something that be, could be cut up into segments and then released on YouTube. Yeah, whereas some people want to go from the computer screen to the small screen or the big screen, like, who cares about the size of a screen? Like, because it's all relative distance, right? You've got a big screen, you sit further away, small screen, you sit close, same relative space. Like, there's only one size screen, it's whatever you want. Like, that's a 17-inch, that's a cinema screen, and that's how shit IMAX is. I've only discovered your stuff recently because I'm in Paris. <laughs> and then I spoke to a, a musician that I did a big with, and he's like... Doesn't like what they have. If someone feels that it's shit, in their reality it's shit. You know? So that's the depressing thing about reading comments on YouTube. But I guess you choose what to focus on. And if you genuinely like it, then you feel good about it. Yeah, so why do you do what you do? I was like 28 and I was in music management and I was like, fuck, gotta do. I always had the urge to create stuff and urge to act and stuff like that. And I just took a plunge at that point. And at the time it was quite hard and looking back it was quite a, a white guy's. Torture. You know what I mean? It's like, oh God, I'm gonna act. Right. Yeah, that, that's why you make stuff. Connor, why do you make stuff? I'm actually a bit scared about 
uh, having a normal job. Like I've had some obscure jobs. Like I used to dress up as Patrick the Starfish in the SpongeBob show at um, Dreamworld. I kind of danced around in a suit, and I worked at a scare attraction and stuff like that. And then, other than that, I've just done like bits and pieces in in film and television. But um, yeah, I've never had a normal job, and I'm actually a bit, I'm a bit phobic of just manning a cash register. I don't think I could man a cash register. What What's happening now? What's happening now? Um, well, the bond. For the next six months, well, uh, Christian and myself and Connor are hoping to make more Bondi Hipsters online episodes. There was a time where we were making so many and we we're kind of uh, not done on it, but we we're just like, let's have a just a break for a little while. But now Connor and Christian and I, certainly Christian and I, whenever we talk, we're like, oh, that'll make a great Hipsters episode. So we're going to make a bit of that. I'm also piloting another TV show idea. We're going to develop a Bondi Hipsters feature film, start developing Soulmate Season 2. I saw the dizzy one and I couldn't watch the end because I used to spin when I was a kid. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah I, I watched the dizzy one. I just couldn't watch the end because I used to have a heroin problem. Like, yeah. I fully thought you were going to say that. No, like literally spin. It was like... Actually spin around in circles. Yeah, when I was a kid. Should we give a bit of context? In Caveman, they spin around for a, um, like a drug high. You've never experienced anything like this in your whole life. What is it? It changes your whole perspective on shit. Oh my god! This is crazy! Keep going, 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 keep so I think you should come to Paris. I often go to places and say to people, this is so bourgeois. I'd happily be that. It's great. It's so bourgeois. Yeah. Well, you should come to Paris and come to Canal saint Martin, And yeah. we can sit on the canal and I'll oh, give you the really Canal saint Martin. Yeah. No, really. Oh, you can play for Tank. The Tank? Oh, is that the game? Yeah, that's now Bobo. Is that a thing? Yeah. It's so yeah. disco. Look at that. Come on, low profile. That's not a low profile. I would say that's ironic. What is that boat that says low profile. Yeah. Can you just play on that? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it is recording.